if you need to transport a number of iFlows or package from one tenant to another, you often need to figure out what's actually the differences between these different systems. In Figuff, we have created this uh, option here that enables you to understand and search for specific packages, see what the differences are, so we can see that there is a uh, 1 or 2 easily here and 1 or 3 here. Uh, we can also just search for what's different between production and this. What I can now do is I can select the number of iFlows that I want to transport and then I can see that there is a difference on uh, for this one. This one is uh, just a bit too long. Let's also just take that one. But this makes it easier for me to understand what's actually being done. I can then create a ticket for this. I can link it to a Jira reason. And I can run out test case, etc. if you have a lot of tests on it, which you obviously should have. And now I can go in and I can pre-configure everything. I can see what the differences are between these versions, if there are any. And I can go in, I can also go in and I can compare artifacts, what's being deployed. So we have a failure percent of 60 and then Q8 is 30. Um, we can modify these as, as we want and being a part of the transport. Now I can send it to approval and here I can approve it or decline it. Let's just approve it. And we can now import it into the QA system. So now the transport has been imported to QA. Some was over, not overwritten. And when I go back to my overview, now I can see that these are in QA. I can then select it. And I can create the transport in precisely the same way to the production. Or I could also have taken the same transport I just created and continue that one. So we have a number of different ways of handling transport, making it a lot easier for you to work with the SAP integration. I hope you like it. You can try it out for free at figuff.com. Sign up for a free trial and experiment with this yourself. Thank you.